What's up, Scrappy Peeps? It's Del from Inky Quill. I almost said my intro for <laughs> Let's Get Inky channel because recording all of these daily videos for the Inky Gin Marathon has me a bit muddled up. So if I accidentally do do the wrong intro on the wrong channel, I do apologize. Uh, today, we are jumping in to a double page 12 by 12 uh, project life process video. And I'm working on some happy, scrappy memories today. Uh, so these photos were taken at a scrapbook retreat that I went to last year, run by my beautiful friend Anita for Flutter by Designs. And the last one is this year, which I'm really sad about because they're always such a fun vibe and we have a dress up night and we just, we have an absolute blast. <laughs> and I am... I think I'm going to this last one. I, I wasn't going to go to any retreats this year just because of uh, having Violet at home, but I can't miss the last one. So let me know, uh, my fellow Aussie scrappy peeps, my regular flutter by design, create by the lake retreat peeps, are you going this year? Because I will most likely see you there. Uh, today, I wanted to have a bit of talk about uh, scrapbooking kit subscriptions. And let me know in the comments, actually, if you have ever subscribed to a scrapbooking kit. Uh, if you haven't, what ones you scrap, what ones you scrap to, what ones you subscribe to, and uh, what you like about them and what you don't like about them. So I, I started subscribing to kits or oh, pretty much as soon as I found Project Life in 2013. Uh, I subscribed to a few, I've subscribed to many different ones over the years. I've probably, I think I've probably done about maybe seven different ones over the years. And uh, I think that they're so different out there and uh, they offer so many different ones. Some are scrapbooking, some are just project life centered, and you've got to find one that fits your style. Um, I have subscribed to some in the past that may not have been my particular style every month. And sometimes I found that uh, there were months where I didn't really want to use the kit. And so I think it's important to shop around a lot of, uh, this isn't sponsored by the way at all, uh, a lot of uh, subscription kit companies offer single months. So I would definitely suggest buying a just one month before you dive into a year long contract or month to month contract. Uh, I think it's just easier to kind of step your foot into the waters slowly instead of diving in, even though it can be very, very tempting. Uh, my table is wobbling a little bit in this video. I'm sorry about that, peeps. Uh, but I, I wanted to talk about kit subscriptions because I don't know about you, but sometimes they can pile up a little bit. And there was one point where I was subscribed to, I was working for the Scraptastic design team and the Citrus Twist design team, I think at the same time. And Coco Vanilla. I think I was on those three at the same time, possibly. Uh, and I was also subscribing to Hip Kit. And they piled up every month. And I was finding that I wasn't uh, going through all of my supplies as quickly as I should have been for the next lot to come in. And uh, I think that it can be tempting to subscribe to all the kits at the same time. Um, but at the moment I have subscribed to two, uh, so I subscribe to Citrus Twist, which has always been my favorite. I subscribed to them for probably a couple of years before I was on the design team and I left as the design team at the start of 2019. Yes, I'm getting my years mixed up. Uh, so I'm not affiliated with them anymore, pay full price. For the kits and it's pricey to get anything from America shipped to Australia uh, but I just find that every month I I love you know 90% of everything in the kit and if not more um, and I think it's because I found a, a style 
uh, that I, I like. And the other subscription that I subscribe to at the moment, because I do get asked quite a lot, uh, what I get uh, is Ellie Studio. They have a really small little kit where it just has uh, two little pages of die cuts and some journaling cards. So if that's all you're after, uh, it's a great way to boost up your stash every month. Like I said, again, not sponsored, not affiliated. I don't have any links to them. I don't have anything to do with them. Uh, but that's how I have found about uh, kit subscriptions in the past is by watching YouTube videos and seeing what people like to use. So I always like to to help out where I can and let you know what I've tried in case you want to try it in the future. So I I think the the trick is to try a few different uh, kit subscriptions to figure out what you like and then also to figure out if you can use that amount of supplies in a timely manner. Now that's not to say that I think you need to use each month specifically for, for that month uh, but it's helpful if you are actively scrapbooking something every month so that there are supplies going off your shelves into your albums and making way for the new kits to go onto your shelves or drawers or boxes or containers wherever you keep your supplies. Uh, so I hope that's, if you've got any questions about kit subscriptions, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, I hope that's been a, a nice little chat um, about them. I, I have found that uh, there are some companies that I have bought from that the quality changed or the quantity of things changed and so I it didn't fit uh, my scrapbooking needs anymore so I moved on to a different company and I think that's okay to, to jump around and try try different things but if you find one that you love treat yourself because I think if, if it's in your budget uh, I think we all deserve a little monthly treat of goodies boy oh boy do I wish I could just have a little monthly like self-care package <laughs> it is it is kind of like a monthly self-care package of, of paper delivered to my door other people have self-care through face masks and uh, manicures or bubble baths or uh, cups of chamomile tea and that's fantastic that works for them my self-care is paper <laughs> And it's, um, it, it's something that brings me a bit of happiness. So for this week, I wanted to show you how I was using the goodies uh, across a double page. And like I said, this kit wasn't the most recent kit. I did uh, buy a few previous kits. Uh, I re-subscribed to Citrus Twist in March, I think it was. Feb or I think it was March. And when I ordered that, I ordered some of their previous kits from last year that I hadn't uh, bought. And I, I, so I'm not quite sure what month this one was, but it was all about weekends and escaping. And it was just the, the absolute perfect theme for uh, this weekend retreat because this retreat was, I think it's about... Oh, could be about seven hours away from me, I think. I drive to uh, my friend's house and she very, very kindly drives a bunch of us there because uh, it's about a five-hour drive from her house and I think it's about an hour and a half-ish to her house from mine. Uh, so it is a, it's a fair way, um, but it's totally, totally, totally worth it. So... I wanted to do, I have quite, quite a few layouts. I think, I think that's the problem. When you get a whole bunch of scrapbookers together, there's going to be a lot of photos taken. <laughs> it's just, it's inevitable. So even if I was a succinct scrapper and I had two pages per month um, of pocket pages there's no way that I could ever get a scrapbook retreat to fit because we just take a gazillion photos and uh, these photos were taken on our final day and I have done a bit of journaling on uh, some of the layouts that uh, follow this or come before this page in my album. So I didn't have to do too much journaling, just a few little pockets here and there. Uh, I'm using some of the 6x8 papers 
to chop them down in half and uh, make a four by six card out of them, as well as some of the little label uh, cutter parts. And I, the thing that I love about kit subscriptions is that it takes a, first of all, it's something new and shiny. <laughs> um, and that's always, you know, a fun uh, treat in your mailbox without having to go through and pick uh, different supplies and figure out which shop has the things that you want and this shop's out of stock so you go over here and that one's out of stock but you can get something else and it's just all together in one little store. Uh, the second thing that I like is that they uh, a lot of the time they have a either a topic theme or a colour theme and even though before I said sometimes there's been kits from other companies that haven't been my style it can sometimes force you nicely to try things that you wouldn't usually try. Uh, it could be a specific type of embellishment that you wouldn't usually try, like an acetate piece or um, some sort of mixed media that you wouldn't usually try. Uh, but it it kind of forces you to because you've it's arrived. You've already got it. It's in the box. You don't need to um and ah about it at the store. And then the third reason why I like them is because uh, they coordinate all together. And so if you're someone who wants to get some quick scrapping done, they're great to take with you on retreats or crop days. They're also great to just sit on the couch with um, because everything's already in the nice little package. And it just, it just works out that everything's there. So I hope you've enjoyed today's Inky Jude Marathon video. My challenge for you today is if you have any kit subscriptions lying around, if there's a full one you haven't used yet, grab it, see what you can use it for. And then if there's one that you've half used, go through it, either add stuff to it and make it into a bigger, bulkier kit or disperse it into your stash so that you actually use it and it doesn't just sit in its pretty little pouch on your pretty little shelf. All right, peeps, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'd love to hear your thoughts about monthly subscriptions. Bye.